As Christians, our goal should be healing, it should be unity, it should be to live out that reconciliation, but that's not the goal of critical race theory. Okay, so, do you have any words of wisdom regarding, um, or any biblical words of wisdom regarding white privilege and how to biblically combat this ideology. To me, this concept contradicts God's word and has become a way to rank humans by color of skin. Mm. Um, thanks for that question. I'm really excited about answering that one. Uh, and go. Yes, my favorite. Um, okay, so I, I think um, here's what I would say about that. Words, like, phrases like white privilege, um, intersectionality, social justice, whiteness, white supremacy, all of these phrases have technical meanings that a lot of times when people use them, they don't understand there's a technical uh, definition of that phrase that lies underneath it that they may not realize. So take the phrase white privilege. Um, you can define that in a hundred different ways. Obviously, in our country, there have been injustices toward African Americans and with uh, slavery and the Jim Crow laws and we're, there are still the effects of those things happening. So in that sense, white people did have privileges that other people didn't have. And I think it's okay to acknowledge that. We don't have to be afraid to acknowledge that and even grieve with the experiences of our brothers and sisters of color who have had a different experience than we have had in life. And, and I think I would, I would urge us to resist tribalism on this. Now, what we have to understand, though, in a technical sense, when people are using phrases like that, they're usually drawing upon a philosophy called critical race theory, which does contradict the gospel because that trains us to view absolutely everything through a racialized lens, to view each other as either you're an, an oppressor or you are oppressed, and this contradicts the gospel because in, according to the gospel, we are already reconciled to each other as sisters in Christ, as brothers and sisters in Christ. And we, what we, our job is, is to live that out. So as Christians, our goal should be healing, it should be unity, it should be to live out that reconciliation, but that's not the goal of critical race theory. The goal of critical race theory is to, there's never an end goal. It's to dismantle every system that brought about any kind of an, uh, of an unequal outcome for, for different groups of people. And I think we need to resist that because the, the goal of the gospel is for us, to, there is no Jew, nor Greek, nor Scythian, nor slave, nor free in Christ. We are all one. And if there are, for example, laws on the books that, that uh, unfairly oppress people, we should ask Christians stand against those things. Um, but at the same time, we need to look at uh, the trajectory that things have been on it. And if we only view things through that overly racialized lens, we're not going to be viewing each other uh, as brothers and sisters in Christ, as the Bible says. And the other thing about the philosophy of critical race theory is it's never satisfied. There's never, uh, there's never enough even a white person can do to ever bring any sort of reconciliation because the reconciliation isn't the goal. And the thing that, that scares me a lot, I have several... Uh, uh, black friends, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ who are very concerned that if we continue on this trajectory, I know it sounds crazy to think this way, but in a hundred years, it could just flip to the other extreme. And as Christians, we always need to resist injustice and we always need to resist uh, anything that goes against the nature and the character of God. And that ideology of critical race theory, I think is very dangerous because it shifts our view from the gospel to uh, you know, programs in the government and we start becoming dependent on the government and things like that. So um, I, just to recognize that people are using these phrases, even the phrase social justice, three years ago, I would have said, yeah, Christians should be doing social justice because my definition of social justice was feeding the poor, taking care of the hungry, uh, uh, doing all of that stuff, but that's not what social justice means anymore. Social justice is deeply rooted in this critical theory. And so, um, yeah, so I think we just, I think resisting tribalism, you know, every time a pastor maybe mentions something about racism doesn't mean they're caught up in critical race theory, but we also can't ignore pro maybe real problems that are going on. I have a friend who's very active in uh, activism, recognizing that 
a current systemic injustice is abortion, right? This is, this is a systemic injustice. And so systemic injustice can exist and we need to acknowledge that. But at the same time, keep everything biblically centered, looking at each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. Mm-hmm.